good afternoon. Happy Wednesday to you all. It's time for our Wednesday words of wisdom today. I'm trying something different today. I actually have my notes in my hands instead of. So I try to like stack my computer so that I have my notes right here. Like it's, it's a hot mess. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. I am pretty excited about sharing with you today my words of wisdom. Um, if you are here with me every week, uh, or most weeks, um, I like to say this every week because um, I am a health and fitness coach um, working in online business, um, but really what I want these words of wisdom days to resonate with, or who I want them to resonate with is any mom out there that you are a mom of faith, you're someone you are a believer, a follower of Christ, any way you want to say it, um, I really want to use this time to encourage you. Obviously, it's on my public profile, so any guys, obviously, this would still apply to you. Um, but I just wanted to shout out to the moms, moms of faith, um, and just women in general, um, but mostly the moms of faith. Um, because I have a passion to serve you and to teach moms of faith how we can better ourselves spiritually um, and how we can get healthier in our spirit, soul, and body. Because I think that's something that God has called us to do, and so that's my passion, and that's why I'm doing these words of wisdom. But obviously along the way there will be lots of applicable things, I think, too. Most people, but I just wanted to point that out. If that's you, if you're a mom of faith, um, you're in the right place, and thanks for being here. Um, as always, feel free to say hi, wave, um, any questions, comments. Um, I am trying to expand my reach, of course, and reach more moms, and so feel free to share this with your friends, any of my videos that are an encouragement to you. Please share them with your friends. So say hi, see a couple people watching, thanks for being here. I'm going to go ahead and get going. So the title of my words of wisdom today is, You Can Do It. Uh, Mom, you're not alone. And so I wanted to just share with you a little bit of my health and fitness journey um, with you and just the ups and downs that I have had and just how, like, through it all, I feel like I found my purpose. I found my, you know, myself, I guess you could say. Um, in this process. So I'm going to start a little bit back from the beginning. I'm going to speed through this hopefully. So hopefully in 15 minutes or less, I can tell you a little bit of my life story. But um, so um, I did grow up, uh, excuse me, I grew up, I grew up, I do know English. I grew up in Lawrence, Kansas. That's where I'm from originally. And I grew up in a big family. And um, our family, I wouldn't say we were poor, but we definitely we had limited resources. Um, I, you know, my mom and dad are great. They're awesome. They're supportive. Uh, but you know, life happens. Things happen, and so we didn't really have great resources to food. Um, we were on WIC for a long period of time. So any of you moms, who that's what you're going through right now, um, believe me, there is another side to that, and you can still succeed. And so I just wanted to say that. But um, you know, so no shame. That's where I came from. We didn't have many resources. Um, my mom fed us what was cheap, fed us what would keep us full, and that's all I knew growing up um, when it came to food. And so this is kind of how my relationship with food started. I didn't really get into exercise um, until later on. And so, you know, I didn't really have much food education or exercise ed education growing up. We were also homeschooled, and so getting limited resources, nothing bad about that by any means. Um, there's just a lot of us, you know, I, my parents didn't have money to help us, you know, afford sports or that kind of thing. So that just wasn't in our scope. Um, I played volleyball at church and, and learned how to do all of that stuff. So I became active. Um, of course, kids are really active anyways. So you don't really have to teach them much, but, um, I was always that kid who was kind of hated because I had a fast metabolism. I'm someone who is what's called an ectomorph. Naturally, I'm not anymore. Now I'm kind of in the middle, what's called a mesomorph. And so I could literally almost eat whatever I wanted. I mean, and as kids, you can kind of do that too. 
Um, but I was that kid who I had a fast metabolism, so really food didn't really make a big impact on me. I could eat whatever I wanted, however much I wanted. Um, so fast forward a little bit, um, in high school, um, again, I was homeschooled through high school, but my mom, um, had me go to some like, you know, city recreational things. And so I went and started doing some aerobics classes, like, you know, through your local community website or whatever. And that's where I kind of fell in love with exercise. Um, I started doing that, you know, probably as like a late teens, um, mid teens, late teens. Um, and really started to love just movement and exercise and just saw that it, I just thought it was fun. Um, I, at that point, I really didn't need to lose weight or anything. It was just more for movement. Um, and so moving forward after that, I, I picked up like, um, if any of you remember Mario Windsor Pilates, um, I did some of her videos. And so that's kind of, I did some of that. And then I actually went to school. I went to trade school for hair school. And so I, my first job, I got in Lawrence, and it was at a, um, a small salon, it's still there, um, and it's connected to a women's gym named Body Boutique. And so when I worked at this salon, I got a free membership to the gym, and that's where my fitness journey really began for me. And so what happened was, I tried the machines and stuff for a little while, um, when I started working for the salon, it was a smaller entity, and then we moved to a bigger facility. Excuse me, and there we started classes from a company called Les Mills, and you probably hear me talk about them all the time. Um, but they are group fitness classes, and they're super exciting, and the instructors are super encouraging. Like these are tough classes, but you come in, and the, and the instructors are super encouraging, and like just do what you can do, and. Um, that's really where I took fitness to the next level. Now, during this time, I'm still eating anything I really wanted. Like, I'm probably in my mid-20s now. I'm working full-time. Um, during hair school, I had probably gained 15, 20 pounds, probably. Um, you know, I'm working full-time now after that and started doing some of these classes, seeing that, oh, well, I would put on some extra pounds. Um, thinking that, you know, if I just exercise, I can eat whatever I want. That's kind of what well, my mentality was. And at that time, it didn't matter a whole lot. So, after I started doing some of these fitness classes, of course, exercise, movement, you're going to lose some weight. Um, and I started being more aware of food and, and getting more education around it and doing some of my own research. And so... <clears throat> You know, I was I was one of those people that I tried the fad diets here or there, and um, but you know I tried a lot of things and a lot of things never really stuck. And so again, nutrition was just something that was kind of like I didn't really have to. Um, I could tell like um, I'll have to post sometime like in my twenties when I was eating whatever I wanted and exercising to where I am now. Um, I look totally different. Like if I were to compare those um, pictures. So, fast forward, um, I'm married now, I have, I'm pregnant, um, you know, I, I worked out for, a, you know, this is probably 15, 16 years now, um, of, you know, being consistent in exercise, so during my pregnancies, I was able to work out, um, you know, with modifications and all of that, and so, during my pregnancies, I probably gained 40 plus pounds, um, with each kid, and I have two, ki two kids, um, and so that in itself was a struggle for me. I had never really gained that much weight in my life. And so while I've never been really obese in my life, um, what I want to encourage you in is if you are someone who you have quite a lot to lose, um, the process is the same. The process is the same. Um, and so in my journey, it was still hard for me, right? If you're used to being a certain way, especially during pregnancy, and I'm sure a lot of you moms can relate, like, it's hard. It's really hard to get rid of that extra weight, especially feeding a baby, not sleeping enough, and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, there's just not much energy. <laughs> so, <clears throat> during this time, after my first child was born, 
I was diagnosed with a condition, a thyroid condition called um, hypothyroidism. And what came along with that, you know, this is back when my daughter was three months old. Uh, we moved into the house that we currently live in, so it's like seven years ago. Um, I'm having major anxiety, depression, um, low energy, like I'm tired, I'm grumpy, um, like all of these different things that were going on. Um, and I was like, something's wrong, something's wrong. Um, I, you know, I knew it wasn't postpartum because usually that happens a little bit sooner after the baby's born. I mean, it could probably continue on, but I knew I just needed to do something. So I talked to my OB, we had things checked out, and it turned out I had hypothyroidism. So, um, thankfully, we figured that out because I got on some medication, and that helped balance things out, and um, life was much better. Um, but with hypothyroidism, you can tend to gain weight a lot easier, as well as all these other symptoms that you can have. So if you're already predispositioned to be overweight, and you're diagnosed with hypothyroidism, um, your journey is just a bigger struggle. So, um, after my second child, so still gained 40 plus pounds, I think it was almost 50, I'm not sure which kid, but anyways, you know, it was enough that, I mean, and you lose a little bit of that, of course, once the baby's born, and, um, you know, I, again, I was working out through this process, and that had always been my goal, because I knew, and I had been taught, that through other trainers, through other coaches, that if you worked out before, during, and afterwards, your body would recover faster. And that was definitely true for me, and it's true for a lot of moms. So if you, you know, you're someone who you haven't had kids yet, and you work out, that is awesome. Stay on track, keep going, do modifications through pregnancy. You are going to heal a lot faster. You're going to get back um, in shape a little bit faster. So that was me. So after I had the Hashimoto's diagnosis, enter um, the fact that I realized that there could be some nutrition things that I needed to do. Um, previously to being diagnosed to Hashimoto's, I had worked with, actually it was a beach body coach, um, and she had done some sort of clean eating free challenge that she did, and I tried that, um, and you know, it was just, from that point, I was a lot more aware that nutrition played a big part in becoming healthier. And so, after I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's, what happened was I decided, all right, I'm gonna get in touch with a nutritionist, a dietitian, or somebody like I had heard enough and known enough that diet plays so much, I'm gonna say diet, but I mean nutrition. Um, you know, what you eat, what you put in your body makes a huge difference in the results that you get. And I could tell um, that I wasn't losing weight as fast. Now, I don't have major weight loss goals, but I have more um, building muscle goals, um, just staying lean goals. And it was getting harder for me to, to do that the way I was eating. And so enter a nutritionist. This was probably a couple years ago. She's amazing. Um, she taught me so much. Um, I mean, we, you know, enter, enter her and this is, you know, this is what happens sometimes, but in my mind, I knew it would be a good thing. It was a hard thing, but she had me on a more restricted diet as far as like what types of food. So like I eat mostly paleo, which is no gluten, no dairy, um, no soy most of the time. Um, and, you know, that was hard for me in the beginning because I loved cheese, I love ice cream, you know, and so that was a mental shift for me. And I would say that is when I really started diving into how nutrition played into my results. And, you know, did it happen all at once? No. Like, and that's why I wanted to kind of explain this story with you guys because this is my story. This is, you know, 15, 16 years of growing, of learning, of having other people outside giving me education and teaching me, you know? And so it didn't happen all at once, no. No, I had to learn through the process. Am I still growing? Yes. Um, there's always gonna be more to learn. Um, the one thing I wanted to point out was, and I think this is hard for us moms, and I've talked about this before in other videos, but like, it's hard to fight for us. 
especially as, as a mom, I think, because we're always so worried about other people. We, we want to, you know, <clears throat> you know, be there for our kids, be there for our husbands, and we often forget about ourselves. We often forget to care about taking care of ourselves, right? But the truth is, if you don't take care of you, you can't take care of anyone else effectively. That's the truth. And I knew that, and I had seen some, you know, bad examples of that. Um, and so, you know, I knew that's what I didn't want. So I started the process. So what I wanted to point out too was, um, you know, how, how did I do this? How did I do this? Because, you know, I've shared a little bit, but it wasn't, it wasn't a product. It wasn't a program. That's the thing. Um, do I believe in certain products? Do I believe in certain programs? Of course. But it wasn't the program, it wasn't the product that got me to where I am today. It was, you know, it was by following the baby steps of consistency. It was being in the process. It was being a part of the journey. It was understanding that it was a process. There's not really an end destination. Do I have dreams? Do I have goals? For sure. Um, can I reach those goals and those dreams? Yes. But it's a process. It takes time, right? So, you know, why, why could I do this? It was because I had a group of people, you know, in my group fitness classes, and I eventually went on to teach classes um, because I loved it so much because I saw what it did for me. And I wanted to be one of those people who encouraged others in my classes to be like, look, you can do this. I know it's hard, but you will get results if you put in the work, if you put in the time, if you do what you can do. And so, you know, I had a group of people who taught me that, who put me in that mindset. They taught me that I could love exercise and I could actually get results. Um, the other reason was, you know, I had my nutritionist who taught me that I can actually eat food that tastes good, that's healthy, and not sacrifice what I love to eat. Like, she taught me that. Um, and I can see results doing that. And so, I just want to reiterate that you're not alone in this story. Um, you're not alone in your own story. Um, if you've tried things in the past, if you've tried products, if you've tried programs before, you know, the... My theory is that you probably just haven't found the right support yet to help you through the, the process. And we spend, and, and this is just kind of my thing and how I feel about it, but we spend so much money on products and, and you know, things that if you don't have a support system to back it up, you're not going to stay consistent. You're not going to do it. And then you're going to think that the product doesn't work. But it's, you didn't actually put in the time. You didn't have support to help you follow the process. And so that's what I want to reiterate is that's how I got to this point. It's been a lot of tears, <laughs> sweat. Um, it's been a lot of mental growth. And that's the other thing that I stress or want to stress is that <clears throat> it's, it's all a mentality. It's all the way you think about it. And, you know, who's in your court, who's on your, on your team to put you in the right mindsets um, to get you moving forward in your health and fitness journey. And so, you know, I promise you that this can be your story too. You can walk through a process and you can lose weight and you can keep it off. You can, you know, I'm still working through pregnancy body. Um, that's something that, you know, you pregnant moms, you know, and I've talked about in a training a few months ago, there are things that happen after pregnancy that you're like, what happened to my body? You know, and I'm still working through some of those things. I'm still working to shift my body into a better posture, into better alignment so that my body functions better. And it, you know, my body is probably healthier than it's ever been before pregnancy even. Um, because I'm taking the time, I'm taking the, bike, the baby steps to consistency. Um, you know, and honestly, it really doesn't take that much time. It's more up here that I have to work on to get there. So, 
So anyways, that's a little bit of my story today for our words of wisdom. Just remember, mom, you're not alone. I know you can do it. I promise you, you can do it too. All right, you guys have a great Wednesday. I'll see you guys later.